Hi there, welcome to The Erudite Artist. My name is Janice and in this video, I'll be sharing with you a step-by-step -step process on how I created this DIY clear journal using the Milk Bar Kit from Planners Anonymous. So we'll be using Sandy's card here along with the washi tapes and the paper pack included in the standard kit. To start off, I have the foiled acetate sheet here and this is going to serve as the cover of the journal. So I cut it at about 10 by 7 and a quarter inch since I'm creating a personal size journal. And I have here a pink foam sheet that I cut at about an inch and a half thick and seven and a quarter inch high, which will serve as the spine. Lastly, I have prepared a pen holder for my journal using foam sheet as well, which is about two inches wide and just about 0.75 inches high. Now I'm going to divide the acetate into two parts so I have both 5 inches wide pieces here and I'm going to take the pink foam sheet and spread out my retro ads washi on them. Since this is a foam sheet you might want to use some extra adhesive on the washi tape to secure it better and I strategically placed sandy near the center that way I get to see all the ads lining my spine. Once I'm happy with the placement of the washi tapes, I'm taking some of this cold laminating sheet with a leather texture and I'm going to just place that on the spine I created. This way it serves as an added protection and it makes it look like a leather piece. I bought this from Shopee. It's kind of like our Amazon here in the Philippines. So for those of you who want to get this and you're not based in Asian countries like Malaysia, China, Philippines, India, I think these are the countries that have Shopee. Correct me if I'm wrong though. Uh, you can check out Alibaba.com and search for leather cold laminating film to look for alternatives. Anyway, I used a ruler to just smooth out the film and make sure there are no air bubbles in between and then I hand stitched the spine to both the acetate papers. I am not the best seamstress, so forgive my crooked lines. I also used a corner puncher to round out the edges of the journal cover. That way it minimizes any damage to it. And then I used this ice cream paper pattern from the kit that I also covered in laminating film. And I just glued that on the opposite side of the spine. I'm then getting some pink elastic and I'm going to create two holes at the bottom and the top portion of the spine to make room for the elastics. So these will serve as the areas where I can place the notebook inserts later on.
Then I'm taking leftover pink ribbons that I've had this for like quite a while now. It has these cute little scripts on it and this will serve as the ties to close my journal. I just poke the hole in the center of the spine and insert that in there. Then I just tie a knot to secure it in place. Now I want to create a pocket at the back part of my journal cover so I cut another piece of foam sheet at about 3 inches wide and the same height as the journal which is 7.25 inches and because I love Sandy, I cut up the menu paper and used that portion for the inside part of the pocket along with the ice cream pattern paper again and I glued both pieces on either side of the foam sheet. Before I glued Sandy onto the foam sheet, I did place the leather laminating film over her since this part will be exposed to dust and then I just stitched this all onto the edge of my back cover. So I started the stitching at the bottom and about an inch closer to the top corner I added in the pen holder I made earlier. So I applied the same technique with the spine so I just glued in some parts of the retro ad washi on it and then the leather laminating film and then I just stitched it up along the way. And this is how it looks like so far. Like I said, I'm not the best seamstress, so my sisters are, well, horrible, but whatever. Anyway, uh, I'm going to set these aside and I'm going to create my inserts. My measurements for them is about 7.75 inches wide and about 6.75 inches high. I also use the Lux printable inserts from Planners Anonymous and I did skip printing the first two pages and the last one because I want to make use of the papers in the kit and I also ran out of ink for my printer so I'm kind of watching how much I consume until the new stocks arrive but anyway I have here the extra portion of the menu paper and I still want to use that so I slapped in some of the excess papers I cut a while ago and just so I can kind of get in the measurements that I need for the inserts and I top it off with some washi tape. I don't like wasting anything so I try to make use of pretty much everything I've already cut up before using another sheet. Next I have here a clear envelope that I cut up 
and I'm going to make it a pocket for my sticker sheets. So this one is easy enough to do. I just cover the open portion with washi tape and this one's done. Then I just attach the sandy card to this pocket with some of the leather laminating film. Now it's time to assemble and add some pages on the other insert I made with the menu paper. I really don't bind or stitch my insert pages because I like them loose. I also uh, often just pull out one sheet and work on that, then place them back inside. But if you prefer to stitch or bind yours, please feel free to do so. I added in some extra paper scraps that I have at hand, but you can solely use the papers from the milk bar kit if you prefer that. I just wanted to add these to kind of match the theme there. I cut up some of the vellum ice cream sheet to create internal pockets within the insert so I can easily place in my die cut pieces and the cards. That way, when I want to use them, they're all in one journal. Using the same technique with the sticker pocket I made earlier, I made another pocket for the clear stamps that is included in the kit. I did use some hot glue to reinforce it better and because I like laces, I added in ruffles and a few of it to embellish the pages. I also created a little bar at the end so I can also slip in the memo pad. And this is done. Before I end this video, let me give you a quick flip through of this journal. I did end up adding a few afterthought details like this ruffled lace trimming on the edge and some extra pockets and this little floral topper that I made to add a removable design on my journal along with a bookmark using the sticker labels on the washi tapes. Like I said, I don't want to waste anything from the kit. And I also made this cute little paper clip.
So I have one insert that serves as a junk journal and organizer, while the other one carries out my planning and bullet journaling activities, which I think it expresses me as a journaler. And that is it for this project. Thank you for watching. I hope this video inspired you to create something as well. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to check out Planners Anonymous on social media and YouTube. Visit their website at www.plannersanon.com. Please also do follow us on Facebook and Instagram, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!